Hello, what's going on guys? It's Bubble back in another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Roblox Studio tutorial. Roblox, Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your avatar's walk and run animation or jump, all those type of movement animations um, for an R6 character without scripting. Yes, you heard me correctly, without scripting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do, uh, before we even get into any of the steps, make sure your game is published so that you can turn your avatar to R6. You can see right here, I'm publishing my game. I'm just going to name it, uh, tutorial right there. And I will hit create. And now you can see our world has been created or game has been created. I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to change the avatar to R6 just right here okay all right so now that we've done that we can actually get started so the first thing that you're going to want is actually an animation you can make one yourself if you know what you're doing uh i i i don't know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna for the sake of this video just go to toolbox and just you know get my own animation from here so i will search up uh walking animation Okay, you can search for jumping animation, running animation. It, it really doesn't matter. Just grab an animation and uh, from here. So right here, I have this R6 realistic walk animation. It was right here in the toolbox. It's kind of off of the screen on my recording. I feel like I said that for like the past three videos. But anyways, um, yeah, I have the animation right here from Workspace. So once you actually have your animation, what you're going to want to do is go into plugins and then you're going to want to go to animation editor click this uh, make sure you're using the legacy one I've actually never actually used the other one um, so I'll put a link down in the description to this plugin just in case you guys don't have it yet anyways you're gonna want to select your character's torso and hit select and then you want to go to file and hit load and then load the automatic save or this one they're both the same it doesn't matter so after that you can see the avatar has been changed Next thing that you can do after this is hit play to see what your animation looks like. You can see my animation uh, is like a walk, I guess. Uh, once you figured out how you want your animation to look, you figure out you want it, you like it, uh, you can go back here and then what you're gonna wanna do is hit export. After you've hit export, you wanna change this title here to anything you want. I'm just gonna change, my, change mine to walk tutorial. And you're gonna wanna put a description, they don't let you do it without a description. After that, you can hit submit and you'll get a little code. Keep this code, okay? Copy this to a notepad, your browser, whatever. Just copy this code, okay? Because you're gonna need that for later. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of this and we won't need any of this. Next thing that you're going to want to do is hit play. After you've hit play, you see I don't have the animation yet uh, cause we haven't done it yet. But you're going to want to go over to the right side uh, to your Explorer and you'll see all of these options here, right? You want to go to Workspace. Uh, and by the way, this is while you're playing. While you're playing, you want to do this. Anyway, so yeah, you can see your character right here. You're going to want to hit the drop down arrow and you'll see all of these options inside of your character. Don't really mess with any of these stuff. You don't really need to. Oh, crystal shades. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so you're going to want to go to the script that says animate. Uh, and you'll have all of these options right here. Okay, all these different options. So what you're gonna want to do is uh, Right click on the actual script and hit copy After you've done that you can now stop it and after you've stopped it You can actually delete this dummy. You don't even need it anymore as long as you save that code that you have earlier But anyways, yeah, you want to go to starter player uh, right here on the side and then after that, you'll see one that says starter character scripts. Okay, not starter player scripts. This one's different. Starter character scripts. So you're going to want to just right click and paste uh, the animate script that you had before while testing the game into starter character scripts, if that makes sense. Okay. If you guys are a little bit confused with what I'm saying, just ask questions in the comment section. I'll be responding to as many as I can. Okay, so once you're in here, you're going to want to click the little drop down on animate. And uh, you'll see all of these different options come up, okay? So you're going to want to select the one that you want. So in my scenario, I have a walk animation. So 
I will use the drop down for the walk animation. Uh, and you will see something that will come up here. So this is walk anim. If you were using a jump, I would say jump anim. Uh, same for fall, same for same for all of them. They're all the same. Okay. Uh, but in my scenario, I'm using a walk. So you're gonna want to select this, and then you see where it says animation ID. You're going to want to change this to the code that we have before. Okay. So this is my code the first time. I changed it right there to that. Now what you're going to want to do is close out all of this because you don't even need it anymore and you should be done. Okay, I've just loaded into the game now and you can see my walk animation has been changed to the one before um, and I literally did not even have to open a single script for this whole entire tutorial. If you want to see more Roblox tutorials um, or, you know, just any of my general content, be sure to subscribe. Um, I'm not going to be doing only tutorials on the channel, by the way. This is just like a not really one time thing but just like i don't know i feel like doing a tutorial every now and then uh because honestly there's a lot of people that might need help with the roblox studio stuff and uh yeah i'll make videos on it anyways if you did find this video informative um or helpful or whatever uh like the video so that more people see this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace